You ready? I'm excited. I want to find something really cool. It's interesting because we saw just on the road, these are just a couple of pieces we picked up. And you can see there's just a little bit of, uh, it looks like chalcedony, maybe agate. I don't know how translucent it is. Found some uh, rhyolite with some crystals on it. We're excited about what might be inside of some of the rocks. Yeah, just see the edge where to go. Um, there, that, there's a pretty one right there. It's all pretty. We're in some purplish area. There's a lot of areas that have been dug out here. If you look around though, you can see on the ground all sorts of crystalline structures. They're very pretty. Uh, embedded in some rhyolite, it looks like. My understanding is that this was deposited by what used to be Lake Bonneville, a large lake covering a large part of the state of Utah. And uh, starting, I, I want to say, about 12,000 years ago or so, that, that, uh, that lake started to dry up and we now have the remnants of that in the Great Salt Lake and I think they call it Severe Lake, which is just south of Delta. You can see a couple of little pieces here that look kind of enticing. There's that piece right there that looks kind of interesting. There's that piece right there that looks like a partial geode. And then there's a couple of pieces through here, maybe like that piece and uh, just all sorts of little shards. I think we're in the right area because we're That's seeing good. this. We've dug in some other areas and uh, I think it's fair to say we got zeroed. So Please we're gonna take ready? a look and see what we find here. Ready? Maybe we'll go down in these deep pits here. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll dig on the sides. Maybe we'll go find our own place to dig. It's a beautiful day though, and we've got shovels. So here we go. Grace here is excited to be rock hunting today for geodes, right? <laughs> she uh, can't wait to get blisters on her hands. Totally. Or did you just come for the Mexican food when we get to? To be honest with you, I only get to. <laughs> I mean, when you mention food, I kind of, you know. <laughs> That, that helped, didn't you're, it? Yeah. You're on your way. <laughs> Got it. All right. I think I'm going to... Nice, actually. I just want to find a more complete geode spot. It's really pretty. What do you got here? I've been playing with the drone. What have you been doing? Okay. Jersey part. That's pretty. So we're hoping to find... I'd like to find a more complete piece. So see what I found there? Oh, I've got the pile right in front of that bucket. But if you come down here, you can tell people have been just digging down at certain layers. And I'm not sure which layer is the best layer yet. I can just find lots of little chunks so far. Maybe a couple that are more full that we'll have to clean up at home. It'll be fun to cut them up. Looks like maybe you have to... Um get below the level of where the people have dug the dirt onto yeah. the top here. So it looks like maybe all of this stuff kind of above that line right there is just uh, what people have thrown out as they've dug for geodes. Probably. And probably we've got to get down somewhere below this layer down here maybe. How bad do you want to dig? Well, I just dug a whole bunch. I was going to do it again. I'm busy running the camera. I, <laughs> I have to get the B-roll footage. You're the star. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I wonder if this would be pretty if you cut it. It kind of looks like one that's not, um, it's not hollow on the inside, but it'd be neat to look at. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, just to figure out what layer it's in. And I did find some. Do you see where it looks? Out. I think I was starting to get into some stuff there, but then again, you're right, it might be what So I think some of this has already been dug. Yeah. It's pretty homogenous. Then you start seeing some banding down a little bit lower in this area. So I think we have to get into that area probably to be below what people have already dug. Yeah. 
All right, it sounds like it's my turn to dig. All right. Wow, you really fought me on that one, didn't you? <laughs> I've been total agreement. There it is, right there, there's some banding. Cool. Find anything? That feels awfully light. Oh yeah, that's a partial one. It looks like it's been chopped in half. Yeah, I bet if you did a little polishing on that, you could see some color. Oh, yeah, there's some druzy in the middle. Neat! Definitely. Like Basically, I'm on break, to tell you the truth. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah! Isn't that deep working? Some more of this. It's working on me. Mm -hmm. Found the bugs even more aversive when I taste deep. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, I'll get up and start digging on the other side. What did we learn today? Well, we figured out that these bigger pits are a great place to come where people have already dug, which I read about, right? We were seeing that on the mm -hmm. uh, USGS site. So. What we found though is Kent, I think you were really doing well in this red area, right? Kind of this clay. We found some interesting stuff there. Ash we found stuff? a couple of pieces. I mean, I think there's somebody had said that this ash layer is uh, below that ash layer is where they found stuff. And if you look at this white rock, it's not a rock, it's just really this trouble. really fine ash. And, uh, I think it's this layer right right here. The bugs are terrible, even with the deet. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a layer about right there, and then we found a red layer below that, and we found some stuff in the red layer that was kind of interesting. Um, it's, it's really fascinating because some of the rhyolite seems to have turned to uh, dirt, aged into dirt over time, I guess. Rocks do that, right? Um, found a couple of really interesting pieces under that layer. If you look closely, you can see there's just little fine crystals that are coming up out of this partial geode that we found in that red. And then another one that has even more. So we know we're in the right area. This stuff is kind of interesting. It really catches the light. It's pretty. We'll spray it off and take it home and see what shows up there. And we've also got some other rocks that we kind of like. Here's that uh, ash again. Oh yeah. Anything um, that you found that you really like? I thought that crystals were really amazing on this side. It's not a full piece, but you can see, see those can... crystals on this uh, edge right here. And let me find that one that was really uh, looked pretty purple. I think we're excited to cut Our some of these cube. and see, or maybe then uh, oh, grind this a couple one. of those up. I can't wait to see what that looks like on the inside. We're totally in the shade. I'm doing terrible there, camera there. work. Can you do that? There we go. That looks a little better. Well, that'll yeah, be cool. It'll be fun. Although it may be solid, it's still a pretty color. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yep, we're going to take some home and cut. One of the things that we did find, and I don't know, I don't think we broke anything up with it, but we had this uh, uh, bar. Bar. Helpful. I think it just made it a little bit easier to dig through. But the dirt is uh, pretty soft. But this, I think, is what we're finding stuff in, right? Yeah, that's the, the clay ash. layer right there, or the ash layer. 
and it's a gray ash and then below that so you start finding layers of this stuff through there that was our experience and uh we'll watch other videos and see if somebody else has great ideas but at least our experience here hopefully you guys all have fun doing it thanks thanks for watching